I've never been told I have smarty pants, but I wear, you know, I'll tell you a fun fact. I've worn the same jeans in every episode. It's like a thing. But if you want to watch more of Wizards of Waverly Pod, <laughs> you can follow on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcast. Enjoy the episode. And hey. we're on a podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to Wizards of Waverly Pod. I always let you do that because you nail it. So today on a very special rewatch of season two, episode one, Smarty Pants, we have the one and only Charles Brockman. Charles! Charles! Woo! Woo! Thank you. So I just want to say, like, I was first introduced to you on TikTok. You do these amazing, like, parodies of Disney Channel and Nickelodeon because let's be honest, they have moments there. And David and I talk about this, that they're ridiculous and yeah. over the top. Yeah. And you make fun of that in such a beautiful way. The first one I saw was the Mean Girls 2 one. Yes. I showed it to Mayata, mm -hmm. who, who plays Mandy in the movie, and we had, I think we did like a watching yeah, of that. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it was so, that was my first introduction to you. I was like, yeah. he's genius. Thank you. You're and so for funny. those who don't know, Jen Stone was in Mean Girls 2. Yeah, she there was? was a sequel. <laughs> right. But it's our Grease 2. <laughs> like oh, if you know, it, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's our uh, Speed 2, Grease 2, <laughs> all of the wonderful sequels. Uh, Titanic 2. There really is a really? Titanic thing. Too. Yeah. Where it like was a, it was a Jack very, comes like it's coming up. <laughs> it was, I mean, they'd have a new boat and rename it, which is Jesus. the stupidest thing in the world, but it's the same people who did the uh, Sharknado and stuff. Okay. Oh, that, that makes more That explains sense. it. That yeah. He rides like it. a shark <laughs> up from the depths. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for being yes, here. Yes. Thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you so much and for so, having me. Go ahead. No, it's just, I'm really excited. <laughs> what was your first viral video mm -hmm. and also video. Don't tell me the first video went viral. No, not at all. I started right when the pandemic hit in March of 2020. And my first video, I think I was just dancing or like doing something silly, you know, thinking that it would probably go viral. Sure. I'm like, I see these videos, like, let You're me like, just I do it. Do I can do that. Yeah. No. Um, I spent about two or three months kind of finding out what would make me unique. And mm -hmm. then there was a trend, um, the Debbie Ryan trend, um, oh. where it was like kind of, <laughs> really just picking at that movie Radio Rebel. So yeah. I did that one. Oh, that's one. right. The one with your, the face that yes, you do. Can you yes, do the face? Yeah. Yes, I love it. It's so good. Yes, it's the face. It's the it's the smirk. So yeah. the first one I did from that, it went viral. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought it would just be, you know, one and done. But people were in the comments like, oh, yeah. look at Camp Rock. Look at High School Musical. Yeah, look yeah, at yeah. Wizards. Like, and then it's just, it made it out for me. Yeah. So I just continued to do that. And I've been doing it ever since. And the way that you like make it, more accessible like I know the Mean Girls 2 when you had like a pot on your head for the helmet <laughs> yeah. and like the, the way that you just are like it's kind of like a DIY yeah. like spoof yes. which is so fun rather than being like these highly produced yes. kind of things I think that's part of the charm too. yeah absolutely that's you're why very I, silly I like it. thank you I yeah. think yeah no it's good <laughs> yeah, yeah. no I love it listen you're I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you but you're enjoying yourself and I think yeah. that bleeds out and maybe why you have one million on Instagram yes. and seven million on the TT, which yep. is what I call TikTok. It always feels like someone's going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, TT. Um, all right, well, let's get into the episode. So yes. season yeah. two, episode one, Smarty Pants, mm -hmm. first episode of season two, which originally aired September 12th, 2008. Basically, we start out with Justin is teaching Alex and Max about wizard garments while Jerry is at a wizard conference. I'm very not in convenient. this episode, everyone. Yeah. Oh. Very you're with Dragon the Dog. <laughs> you're away. Yeah. yeah. Um, wizard and then, conference. <laughs> so, which, okay, if you're not a wizard, which Jerry isn't, why is he going to a wizard conference? Uh, to learn, I'm a teacher. Why, why the fuck do I have to say what it is? But <laughs> I don't no, know. I mean, it just to, was something my, watching. I was like, what well, the fuck? Yeah. For, for my justification. Yeah. It's I'm brushing up on stuff. I'm I'm you know if there's new spells that are coming out, mm -hmm. then I need to teach the kids or okay, something. That makes you sense. know, good like dad, good dad, yeah, yeah, good dad. It's like a parent teacher conference <laughs> or like a teacher conference. Well, like right? a teacher conference where you're going over new stuff. Like okay, as a nurse, you're gonna you have to uh, keep up on your on what's no, happening. I'm still and, doing the Florence Nightingale stuff. You're just no, like I'm, <laughs> I'm completely full of shit. right. I mean, that's no, no, a thing. You continuing education. You yeah. have to get so many hours to renew your license. Yada yada so, yada. Nobody so do cares. wizard teachers, Jen. All right, so they're your CEs, <laughs> your continuing education. So Teresa attempts to teach the wizard lesson. Which For is like new. 30 seconds. For 30 right. seconds, and it's like, fuck this. Oh, uh, well. With cue cards left by Jerry, but loses patience with the Russo kids, and then Justin takes over teaching. Then he moves on to the nightcap, which makes the wearer fall asleep. They're kind of about magical garments, this mm -hmm. episode. And um, then lastly is the smarty pants. The person's wearing the smarty pants would have in-depth knowledge about anything and everything. And then on the... This is a fun little thing. On the chalkboard mm -hmm. in the lair, it says wizards 
two o- lesson two o one, which was the script episode. Oh, I didn't oh. know that. It was a fun thing. Yeah, well, yeah, well, a little tidbit. I actually saw the chalkboard and I was going to write a note down about it or something and say <laughs> what is that? And, but Jen did it. <laughs> she did. Sorry. It. Okay. I mean, hey. Good um. Job. <laughs> so basically, and then just Alex gets over Justin's lesson, and makes him put on the sleeping cap, and makes him go to sleep. Well, and also they read the side effects of mm. the smart. Oh my pads. god, it's everything. <laughs> and then they and then they say it later, and then that you know bubbles from the belly button, which by the way we never see. <laughs> Which Thank is God. funny. Yeah. I mean, we see I her. was like, would I want to see that? But no, <laughs> yeah, right. no, I don't want to see that. Where, where does gas come out? No, <laughs> you don't have to tell me that. <laughs> no. Um, no, I was going to ask like, what's the worst like side effect that you've heard? Cause I feel like those commercials are always like yeah. in the happiest voice. Death. Yes. Sometimes they, they go like this. The and way, this is, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, they're like, uh, may cause diarrhea, a uh, runny nose, uh, eye itching, death, possible. Uh, slide it in there. One of them says, um, all the best ones. Do. Yeah. A possible paralysis for life. But all oh this while, God. all this while, don't you feel like this is when people are like frolicking through the field? Yes, fields they're dancing, like, they're, they're excited, eating and yeah. then they say, "Don't take this if you're allergic to it." Like, right. what if I don't know if I'm allergic? Yeah, to exactly. It? Come on, medicine <laughs> Come people. Come on, of course. Fans. And yeah. also, the names of all the things are like kick tech zerk. Yeah. <laughs> I know pharmacists are jerks, man. Let's pick one name and stick with it. There's like yeah. 45 names for, for the, the same, same meds. Right. Anyway, okay. All right, so we're at Tribeca Prep. After wait a minute. This wait a minute. What, what did you? Th- I want to know what Charles <laughs> thinks. What, what did you think about this? This the layer, the opening. What's your What's your feeling on on wizards? And when did you first watch it? Oh. Man, I mean, I was a fan since I've always loved. I, fun fact: I've never seen like Harry Potter things like that of what? that nature. I know, I know, I'm gonna probably get a lot of emails. Um, no, but I just really loved Wizards, and I would like play in my room and you know pretend like I yeah. was casting spells, and it never worked. I never could get out of my homework or you know make the spells didn't I work. Know. They didn't work. What's the one spell that you were like, oh, I really want to use that? Oh, yeah. Definitely the homework one. Like, yeah, right? Like just getting out of like schoolwork or teleporting. I would have loved yeah. to like teleport. Oh, you're, I'm grounded. Teleport to my friend's house or, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, I've, I'd always been a fan of like Disney shows and Wizards, especially um, the cast and like everything about it was just always so light and, and funny. I love a good comedy, love good family. Um, so yeah, I was introduced to it when it first came out and I always was a fan. I'm nice. glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. I know. I always So wanted... now it's like full circle. I'm Yeah, really right? Yes. Life is funny, it isn't is it? It is very. It's very funny. But yeah. um, I know I always that one in the the intro where Selena like mm-hmm. or Alex turns the time back. I'm like, oh that'd be nice. Yeah, right. Yeah. Sleep a little longer. Yeah, just a little. Um, right. All right. So back at Tribeca Prep, Max and his friend Alfred, who goes we talked about Alfred a little bit. You know Dragon the dog from that mm-hmm. episode, the episode where they have a dog who never goes like anywhere. So we're like Alfred goes where Dragon goes. Like, I think uh, Alfred is like Max's episodes. friend, and yeah. he's a little bit of a. He seems like a brainiac a yeah. little bit. Mm-hmm. So they they have this whole scheme that they have together because Max always has a scheme. Always. So they see people at the the school water fountain. They want to bottle it or like find a way to sell basically the mm-hmm. water fountain water back right. to the school. Which, yeah. by the way, this is the only episode that they put like a little wall kind of down from the mm-hmm. fourth wall where the and cameras it looks are. Like, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah, and there's a little wall there and there's a drinking fountain. We never see it again. <laughs> yep. yeah. But then we also have Dan Benson who yeah. plays Zeke and he's yeah. there drinking the, the water. Well, and also too, this is the first episode that we see Max and Tribeca prep. Because mm. before he was like too young. So now uh, right. he's finally in uh, the right. high school. Uh-huh. Right. So that's kind of a fun fact. Yeah. Um. So Harper walks over to Alex. They share their excitement over the quiz bowl. Harper says that she's joining the quiz bowl so that she can get a new reputation in school, not just as the fashion dynamo, but the uh, girl with the brains. And I have a very interesting question about this because mm. Selena's reaction to you when you're like, oh, I just want to be known <laughs> something other than the fashion queen. And Selena kind of does a, a look to the right and she's like, um, I'm just going to let that be. Yeah. Because yeah. your outfits as Harper are so kind of out there, yeah. which I love. But Same. but there's the but fine line of I'm your good yeah. friend. <laughs> right. Uh, excuse me. I'm your good friend. Yeah. And but her reaction is like, uh huh. Like who right? gave you that title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Self appointed. Yeah. Self appointed. Yeah. Right. Love that. Um, but then the new student, the bad boy, mm-hmm. is introduced, which is Dean, played by Daniel Simonis. But for some reason, he's credited. We did this with Zeke too, where it was like Zach, whatever, and Zeke was Dean Malone in this episode. But then as Dean Moriarty later, yeah, it's they kind of they changed the last name, and 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 they they would do that. They would change mm-hmm. things yeah. every once in a while, or we just don't address a spell it. did yeah, something, right. and then it did something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, like it's kind of like 
just hang on for the ride. How did you, you know? feel about Dean as one of Alex? Because she had a lot of different love interests. Yeah. So what was your thoughts on Dean? I mean, so he was the bad boy. Right? He was the bad boy. Yeah. He's yeah. like the kind of greaser. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I always liked you know the the trope of like the main character. She likes the bad yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. and you know it's like kind of risky. Um, so I was here for it. You know, right. it's like. Well, who was your favorite love interest that she had? Hmm. I can I guess. Know. I'm going to tell Jennifer. And then we'll see. <laughs> That's what I think too. What, what do you think? No. That's all right. You don't have to have an answer. I mean, I don't know. But I know. All right. I'm going to tell you. She had so many. I, well. <laughs> well uh, uh, God bless Greg Sulkin, Mason, okay. the, who turned into the He's like, werewolf no, himself. Well, thank yeah. you. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I also didn't remember his name. That's, that's totally <laughs> like I don't, I don't mean to put you on the spot. No, no, but no, that whole like series of like the werewolf and, and yeah. that whole thing was iconic. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big like fantasy, like horror nerd. And so yeah. when we started bringing more like the vampires, the werewolves, yes. I was I was here for it. Yes. I loved it. Okay, so Dean Moriarty from Jack Kerouac's On the Road, mm -hmm. that we like to throw in those little things, shows up in school and Mr. Larry Tate engages him to set up or help set up the quiz bowl at the gym. Every single line he has is a cowboy reference line. <laughs> I mean, every single some one. Pun. I wonder uh -huh. if in the writer's room, they were like, we gotta make we gotta every single it. one a cowboy. Every cowboy. Right. Every cowboy. <laughs> I felt like this was the first time that we- Maybe. Because the fans will let us know. But here's the thing, because, and, and I'm jumping ahead, but mm -hmm. in, in his reaction to Alex, mm -hmm. he's like, oh, Alex is like the bane of my existence. But mm -hmm. in this episode, he's not, He's not knowing her. He just knows, you know, Miss Russo, but sure. he, he's not, uh, the history doesn't seem to be there. So, well, I think that it's like in later episodes where they start to have that sort of like, yeah. oh, this one That's what I'm saying. just so drives me crazy. Fans, everybody, uh, don't get mad at me if, <laughs> if, if this is the first and we don't know. Okay. So it was 15 years <laughs> <Right>. ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So he's going to, he's asking Dean to help set up for the quiz bowl. Alex volunteers to set up the quiz bowl as a way to get to know Dean. Of course. Mm -hmm. um, and he rewires the buzzers, leaves the last one for Alex. She, of course, does it incorrectly because what is she? She's not yeah. an electrician. No. She doesn't know. And we <laughs> zap, um, uh, we zap the wait, wait, friend. Wait, there's there's a couple Nelly. of things I gotta go back. Yeah. You you have a grape necklace. What is my necklace in this one? Grapes. grapes. Oh, it's grapes. grapes. I thought you, you said, said a grape. Oh, grape. Grape. No. Thank grapes. you. Yeah, grapes. Yeah, yeah. I just and then I had the so... weird like bunch of grapes on I was right. always here for Harper's attire. The best, Thanks, man. right? I appreciate I it. It just is so funny. And I, I have a question. Um, Dean Moriarty, mm -hmm. because Moriarty is Sherlock Holmes' nemesis. I is wonder, it? yes, mm. I've looked it up and there oh. it is. I <laughs> copied right. and pasted I it. Back, back, back. But isn't that, it just is interesting because uh, I wonder why the, you know, all the writers mm -hmm. typically use like a name that they yeah. like, like uh, uh, Gigi and Perry were our writers in, in the first season. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex's nemesis kind of was Gigi, yeah. you know, who they, they it just is interesting to me. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I like any, those little like Easter eggs. Like yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So Alex, electrocutes Nelly. <laughs> so then they're going to have to forfeit to Justin's team. You're going so fast through the show. Yeah. Well, we have to, we can't keep <laughs> these people here for hours on end. Um, but, um, and then, then Alex volunteers and is like, okay, I'll, I'll do it because Harper's so upset that she's not going to be able to, to mm -hmm. reroute her reputation. Right. And, and Justin's also kind of rubbing it in. Uh, so. Yeah. And also, uh, uh, Justin gives her the flashcards that he's used mm -hmm. to, and, and kind of, uh, it helps us suspend disbelief that when she answers all the questions right, that it's not like she's cheating. It's, it's like flash she actually mm -hmm. used the flashcard. When flash Justin cards. even yeah. says that, he's yeah. like, it's my flashcard. Right, They're right. so good. Although I have to say the whole like, they started to really develop like the Justin and Zeke relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That what is it? The uh, oh, the, the the up top, the, miss, the, the miss behind. Oh, miss I used to do that. Did I you got really? on there. I did get it from there. It's I did a good that all one. You did. You 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 would yeah. do that with my friend. Like oh, that's so funny. We would do it. Miss behind, yeah. hit me and low. Then, and then they do another one. They're like, si we're going back. It's but a fly by, and, hit me high. Oh, fly yeah. by, hit me high. I like, <laughs> like that. I didn't do that. I was like, no, not that. <laughs> You're like that one's too lame. Uh, um, so Max is back at the subject. Wait, wait, wait. Let's yeah. go back to to the the, We're the all quiz. Over the place, can't you tell? <laughs> um, so so uh, Justin, Zeke, and Extra. There's mm -hmm. the three people on the mm -hmm. team because the other kid never says anything. Right. Yeah, well, he's so, he's. Just I mean, a, 
He's a supporting like yeah. third He's a party. Supporting we needed extra. three people. Yeah, isn't that interesting that, that they? I, I just thought that was so funny. Like, That's why true. not cast cast yeah. someone who's going like, to at least can have too. one answer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would have done it. Something I don't know. There were some things that they were like, we're just not going to talk yeah. about it. We're just going to put it over there. All right, so we're back at the sub shop. Max is bottling up the fountain water he's carried from school with a ladle. He's yeah. trying to pour <laughs> the water in the thing. It's very funny. And then Zeke points out, hey, there's no line at the water fountain because we're all in line to get the bottled water. Oh, he, there's And so then it like swaps in. They're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? So the, obviously the getting rich quick scheme is not working <laughs> but, 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 out very Max, well. I love it when he leaves. <laughs> he He's about to leave. He comes back and then he flips the table. You know what I mean? He yeah. does one of the, he sends yeah. the table very flying. Dramatic. And, and, and I think, he jumped up on the bench and then that, yeah. it was funny. I thought it was very okay, funny. Okay, so as a kid, did you guys ever have like a get rich quick scheme or did you ever like sell something? Like I, lemonade stand, something I like did, that. but you go yeah. for it. You, did I've you? I've done selling chocolate bars, lemonade stand, um, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah. I wanted to be like a YouTuber before that was even like a big thing. And I was like, wait, how do I make money as like an eight year old on YouTube? Right? Couldn't even like really yeah. post on YouTube that young anyway. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to be rich. I love that. <laughs> hey, love you that. know Every what? Kid. It's good early yeah. being like, I want to, well, because when you're, especially when you're a kid, I feel like money is freedom. You don't have right. to ask mom and dad. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like every like, kid has like some sort of scheme to yeah. like get yeah. rich. And then we don't even really know what like rich no. really is other than what it's we It's like $20. See. Right, yeah. We're like, so I'm then, rolling oh, in it. I'm going to the mall. <laughs> yeah, I got a you 20 for Christmas. Ooh. I don't know if the definition of rich it has to do with just monetary stuff. Because I always say like, you're very, you have a rich, wonderful life if you have good friends yeah. in there, you know what I mean? And well, that's way happy. more impactful, I think, than money. Because yeah. yeah. they've even done studies that, and I forget the exact numerical The rich number. people are unhappy? Well, no, it, it only takes like, I'm not, I hate to throw out a number because I'm mm. not going to have the right one and especially with inflation and stuff. But like yeah. they did a study where they were like, it was capped. It's surprisingly low that you make like an annual salary. Mm -hmm. they, they were like past that point. It doesn't improve your happiness. Yeah. Like the, like the percentage that it improves your happiness drops exponentially. Well, like the person uh, uh, who just won $1.7 billion. It's dangerous. Uh, well, I mean, it was not just, but a little while ago mm -hmm. lived in my town mm. wow. uh, of uh, uh, like Pine Mountain Fraser mm -hmm. Park and I know the guys who own the store yeah. wow. because I didn't I didn't know this but I know it now mm -hmm. that when you're the store that has the winning ticket you get a percentage oh, up to a million dollars. Oh wow! So they got a million dollars. That is great. Isn't that amazing. I actually yeah. never. I didn't know that either. What, either. what was your get rich quick? I lived very close to the uh, golf course, the Riviera Country Club, mm -hmm. when I was growing up, and that's where they have the. We PGA can all tour. relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chad. I mean, that was my childhood. That's where I grew <laughs> sure, up. Sure, sure, yeah. sure. So they closed down everything. Like, there's yeah. so many people that come to that. Mm -hmm. That people, I started parking cars on my mm -hmm. dad's lawn. At eight. Mm -hmm. uh, no. Not at eight. I was, I was, <laughs> like, uh, I, I was I young. I, I, I couldn't drive at the time. So I was like 14, 15. But you're driving people's cars? No, no, no. I would have them park on the lot. Oh, oh. I could okay. fit 42 cars nice. on my dad's lot. We would park them on the side. Oh, wow. Me and my buddy David Ruan, we were like just on fire. Yeah. Then we started doing valet. So nice. we got a board mm -hmm. and we put all the, you know, the keys on there mm -hmm. and we'd have one car that we would, when I started being able to drive. Yeah. So I would pay my friends like a hundred dollars a day. So when you're 14, that's good. That's, yeah, but that's I would money. make like mm -hmm. 4,000 in oh my the God. weekend. Ooh. At 14? Know? At 14. Oh yeah, it was wow. pretty cool. And we lost a couple of keys, but other oh. than that, it went good. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was not that lucrative. I would, I, my friend and I have, and I still have the, the GIF jar, not mm -hmm. the, GIF moving image right. GIF whatever mm -hmm. but GIF like the peanut butter yeah. jar of and we decided we were going to have a band oh and so to fund the band we went door to door and oh. asked for change and mm -hmm. so literally it's just this jar full so of you change. did a, a a walking GoFundMe yeah we did mm -hmm. a Kickstarter that we actually uh kicked physically ourselves how much money I tried did you to get? make that work that <laughs> <laughs> how failed. much money did you get <laughs> Probably five dollars total. Like I said, it literally oh. looks like the the change you take to the change machine yeah. uh, okay. to get like a dollar or two. But at, at seven or eight, we were rolling yeah. in it. That could have we were very you excited. Off. Yeah, mm -hmm. our band definitely got off the ground. I know this sure. is a, this is in topic, but not on topic. Yeah. If why, anybody's, so why should we start now? We're know, always right? all over the place. <laughs> but if anybody's young and they're entrepreneurs, I say if you can take ten percent of whatever money you make 
and you put it in a bank account mm -hmm. and you just keep putting it in there, you'll be a freaking millionaire by the yeah. time, you know, you can invest it and you can put it in. Well, there's all those like TikTok things of like, I have $8 million and this is how, and yeah. it's always like, I put, I put $20 away for, mm -hmm. I, I don't know what Every, that accent yeah. is. Why, why do they have to be like this? I don't know why, I don't know why they're from the thirties, like, or what that is. But, but I think it's really important to tell the younger generation that mm -hmm. if you take yeah. a little bit I'm yeah. telling you, you take some of your money he know, he and you knows. put it in the, you know, invest it, real mm -hmm. estate, stock market, and some, you know, you yeah. just park under the mattress yeah. just yeah. in case, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because well, I feel like there's a lot of, especially on social media now, this whole, this like keeping up with the Joneses is even mm -hmm. worse than it's ever been. So this is like mindset of like, just spend what you make. And yeah. it's like, no, 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 there's a happy medium. Yeah. You don't want to just live with a bunch of stuff and not yeah. enjoy your Absolutely. life. Yeah. Okay. So but this is want. in topic, but not on topic as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's this episode. There Smart is, is slash there in is. and on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, so we digress. All right. So back at the loft, um, Teresa is asking Max about the fountain water and she's like, you got to sell something with value. So he decides for some reason um, that they're going to sell uh, dogs, right? Uh, puppies. Yeah. Puppies He's got puppies. Him and his little water. buddy have puppies to yeah. elevate the thing. And right, Dan the... Benson, Zeke, mm -hmm. takes a puppy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then where does the puppy go? We lose the puppy. Um, and then so we're back at the quiz bowl. I know we're jumping all over the place. Welcome mm -hmm. to Wizards of Waverly Bot. Love Bot. it. Um, so Alex answers the question correctly and is thrilled because she's mm -hmm. wearing the smarty the pants, pants, of course. Um, Which they remind us of all the, you know, like- Of uh, the side uh, effects. Yeah, and, and, and there was a voice when she grabs yeah. them in the uh -huh. lair. By the way, back in the back in the first scene, when when <laughs> David does the, the code for the thing- Oh, did the beep, I love beep, it. Boop, he goes, boop. yeah, beep, beep, boop, uh -huh. boop. So, we brought but, that back a few uh, times. Uh, Peter Marietta's uh, assistant and, and did many other things. But Jack is the voice oh, that says, right. mur, 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 <laughs> you know, there's side effects, bubbles in the belly button yeah. and uh, skeleton legs and the, the, all that stuff. So like, his they assistant, remind us, you know. Yeah. His assistant would play Santa once a year. So about oh. halfway through the year, he would start growing out his Santa beard. He had like oh. white hair. It was very strange. So like, it was really just like Santa following mm -hmm. our yeah, showrunner around. He did a around. whole do documentary. He did a whole On movie about Santa. him being Santa. Yeah. Harper's getting a little frustrated because Alex is answering everything. Mm -hmm. Right. So so that was tough for me. Did you feel this? I was like, why is Harper getting annoyed at winning? You know? But it's that yeah. it's, it's that it. it's it's not the team uh that won. It's mm -hmm. it's Alex is answering. So because Harper's not answering the questions, mm -hmm. you're mad. Is that what's happening? Well, yeah, because also remember her whole goal is to change her reputation. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like I feel like, I don't know. Anytime Is that you weird study for you though, because no, cause I, I think also too, anytime like you've studied, she's studied hard for this. And yeah. so it's like, she, she hasn't a little bit of, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. you right? guys, those were the most fucking confusing questions in the whole world. <laughs> like there's not like, they're like, how would anyone answer the, the, the questions were very complicated. Yeah. I Especially for a high guess school. It, you know, did you have any like high school, like quiz bowl or spelling yeah. bee or you did? Yes, I did. And actually this was, I had, a middle school sc spelling bee, mm -hmm. and then also other things in high school. But I remember vividly my um, middle school <laughs> spelling bee and the word that I got out on, which yeah. is embarrassing. Oh no! Because it was casserole. And it's a hard word. I'm okay, I think you. And middle school, so casserole. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I'm I remember I missed the the e at the end or something, and like there was a way to protest afterwards. So all yeah. these kids were running up like, I, "You said I got it wrong, but I don't think I did." And then they played the recording, and we were like, "Oh." You're like, "Oh, I'll... okay, thank you." All right, so second round of quiz bowl. Max decides he's selling his bottled water with the puppies, which they're dachshunds. I know the dachshunds. He has a long hair. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You just Tony's missed him. Tony dog. was in the studio. He's so cute. Um, he's, and then he, I love him. Whether the customer. <laughs> Customers want it or not, he's like, no, you're getting a dog. <laughs> no, you have a life, it. you have a lifelong commitment <laughs> yeah. or a long time commitment. Yeah. So Alex can't keep her promise mm -hmm. to not answer all the questions. Um, she continues answering them. Harper gets upset, walks off because mm -hmm. that's the Disney Channel storm off. I have to say that <laughs> I felt like um, when Selena was doing like she wants to stop, she wants to not do it, but mm -hmm. the pants are like in control, so she's yeah. she's saying the answer but the kind of regretting it it's you know like, at yeah. the same bilbo, time it's like uh bilbo baggins in lord of the rings where it's like the ring compels me yeah. Yeah. the pants compel right, right. yeah um so harper storms off um and then so alex removes the smarty pants and one of the side effects is it gives you skeleton legs, legs which can we just talk about how great those effects were yeah it was weird right i mean it's so <laughs> you silly. can say it i know i think at the time i was probably like oh my god oh 
<laughs> but like looking back, like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've got the shot. Uh, but I do love too that Justin's team is like, we got a full house and there's only two people in the audience. <laughs> and then also when Dean comes in, they do like, a, they, they make the poster joke where, where oh, women yeah, make yeah. posters. Mm -hmm. I didn't quite understand that. It was, but. it was, it didn't, that joke probably didn't yeah. age great because it was something like men do the electrics and yeah, women yeah, do, do the, the posters. posters. Yeah, yeah it was, mm -hmm. it didn't age I did well. love when Dean's whole crew is there sitting there <laughs> and then yeah. his like right hand man, the blonde kid, I don't yeah, know his yeah. name, but he was so funny. He was really He's funny. He's like, uh, Dean, what are we doing <laughs> making uh, posters we're making posters everybody <laughs> he just was so uh, I, I so funny i thought he was great well, he was a great so because they modeled it or at least in the casting mm -hmm. um daniel was telling us who plays dean that they were saying it was like a like a Greece, uh, Greece, like, like uh, Danny yeah. Zuko, Danny like Zuko. Mm -hmm. So who yeah. was the, who was the guy next to Danny Zuko that's who the blonde kid was yeah mm -hmm. um yeah, I mean, he was the yes Kinnicky. man. I guess. Oh, yeah. Kinnicky. Kinnicky. Yeah. Pull okay. that out of my yeah. ass. There oh, you my go. Lord. I was actually in the play Grease in Were you really? What'd I you was. play? I was a, a character called Johnny Casino. I sang the hand jive while they were dancing. Oh, oh, I oh, sang wait a That's a good one. I'm putting you on blast. Can you do a little bit of the hand jive? Do you remember? Before I was born late one night. <laughs> yes! Can Mama I just, something. I don't remember the Mama word. Something. Mama yeah. said, so I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I love I the fact, like, you just brought me back to my roots because I'm such a theater kid. And uh -huh. the moment you ask any of us to do anything, we're like, yeah. yes. <laughs> Jazz square. Yeah. Jazz hands. Yeah. So I literally yeah. was well like, done. oh, my. Thank you. Oh, my people, my theater people. Yes. You know. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's wrap up the episode because we have jumped everywhere <laughs> in, a, in a minute. Poor Charles is like, what the hell are y'all people <laughs> no. talking about? I still want to say that this is a moment where if Mr. Larry Tate had been on other episodes, he would have known instantly that Alex doesn't know these <laughs> answers, <laughs> yeah. you know? So I do. But this I'm, might be the wizard suspend disbelief Disney Channel yeah. move right. where we okay. just look over here yeah. and it doesn't right. exist. <laughs> exactly. You got it. Okay. So after the quiz bowl is over, Harper finds Alex with a big trophy because Alex and, and Justin quickly dance out mm -hmm. of the gym with the skeleton legs yeah. to distract the fact that they're skeleton legs. And again, we're going to look over here yes. and it <laughs> well, doesn't you, exist. You justify it by saying <laughs> your, your skeleton tights were so cool. And oh, cute. yeah. <laughs> right? you just Which justify. way to just cop out of, yeah, of having like, to own um, up to that at all. Because yeah. Harper doesn't know about magic at this mm -hmm. point. Right. I mean, the fact that you said that line was to justify, to, to stop me from going, how did they not get we see the skeleton yeah. We did that a lot. Yeah. There was a lot of times where Quite we were like, few. yeah, yeah. We were like, the magic. <laughs> yeah. Eh. Um, so after, so she comes, Harper comes in with the big trophy, lets her know they won because Nelly stepped back in because she was magically cured from being electrocuted. <laughs> and she owes Alex and wants to give her her skeleton shirt to go with the skeleton tights, not suspecting anything about the skeleton legs. Right. And then we, we end with Teresa walking out of Mr. Larry Tate's office and say, it's funny, your principal started talking about you. And then he got a phone call about a Dirty Canary song, which was something that was Max earlier in the episode. Right. Max sleeping had, had the been seventh teaching, grade. teaching yeah. his buddy this song. And this is very unlike Teresa, because Teresa's like yeah, she's like the she was mm -hmm. like do your homework, be right. studious, mm -hmm. like do, let's do this. But she was just she was you know getting Alex out of trouble, and she told Max to call Mr. Larry Tate to get him uh, to get Alex out of trouble. Yeah, I mean, that was yeah. a big out like character. Woo. Yeah, right. that was kind of a Jerry move, right? Yeah. Rather than the, which parent? For Why you? was it in the episode? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was at a <laughs> fucking <laughs> conference. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring it up. I didn't mean to bring it up. Uh, which parent was like the, because I always feel like there's a hard ass parent mm -hmm. and then there's like the thinking, fun parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but every once in a while I would be like, well, you hey. you guys would flip flop. Yeah, yeah. But who was, yeah. who was which for you? Oh, yeah. For my parents yeah. Specific, yeah, yeah. specifically. Um, my mom was like you, like the, 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 fun, parent. the fun parent, yeah, you know. Yeah. And my dad was a very, you know, strict one. Okay. And, you know, they were, I'm the only child too. So you, okay. everything was on me anyway. They both had their times of being strict and fun. But uh, yeah, my dad was like, um, homework now, yeah. go upstairs. Well, somebody's what? got to. You gotta Someone's got to. Someone's got to. And, and what, would, what was the punishment? Like, would you get a timeout? Because my mm -hmm. kids, I had to stop sending them to their room because their room was fun. They had a computer, oh, a TV, a oh, thing, that's and a true. weather. Be, you they know, would it's send like, me there and then take the stuff out. 
Right. Yeah. yeah. So Clever. my dad, my dad would be on me about the actual action of doing the homework, but okay. my mom would be the one checking the grades, though. Okay. So you know, they they work together. That's but a yeah, good teamwork. Yeah. If I got in trouble, they'd send me to my room, and then I'd get there. There's no TV. There's no. <laughs> they would physically <laughs> take it out of the room. Yeah, because only nice. child, I know how to entertain myself. So that's true. You know. I did that once. <laughs> my kids were playing the drum and the guitar, and mm. they started fighting, mm. and I was like, "Go to your rooms," and my daughter just was like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you can't see me, she just was like, no, you know, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, you guys take care of yourselves and go to bed. <laughs> and then I went up and I took the phone and the computer and the TV. Nice. And then in the morning yeah. she was like, uh, dad, did you take my phone? And I was like, no, you forced me to take your phone. Mm. And then nice. she was like, okay. when am I getting it back? And I was like, I don't know. Yeah. And that was like the most I always love good I parenting that I, I feel had. like this is like was in freaky Friday and like a bunch of other like teenage mm-hmm. tropes where they always take the door off. Oh, right? Yeah. That never happened to me, but yeah, No, it never happened to me either, but I always, always saw it yeah. in like, usually a Lindsay Lohan movie, <laughs> yeah. but like they would take like the door off. So and they, I, I don't even know why, I guess like- Cause there's no privacy. No privacy, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, 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 that, but that's a extreme one. Very extreme. For sure. But mm-hmm. I know like now like people, like parents just turn off the Wi-Fi or right. something. Right, yeah, which completely I feel like different is, time. Is a lot easier than lugging the TV and the yeah. computer out of yeah. your room. Back, Cause yeah. back then we had a desktop. Oh, and they were and, like, massive. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. With the huge back on them, all the guts on them. Oh my You know, it's Lord. interesting. The privacy is really important. And then when you're in the public eye, mm-hmm. you kind of mm-hmm. lose the privacy. That's why I was so happy about wizards. Cause I, I get recognized enough, but I still have my privacy. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. are you getting recognized a lot out in the I world? Am. Yeah. It's very, and I started like when I first started, I got recognized maybe after the first viral video, which was very, not really normal. You know, it kind of takes some time for you to build an actual yeah. good fan base that would recognize you. But yeah, it happened that quick. And then it's just progressively grown. Like even when I'm trying to hide, you know, I'm like looking bummy in the airport. Someone's yeah. Like, Excuse me. It's always the worst moments, right? <laughs> yeah. When you're like either having a bad day or you're yeah. like, I look like trash. Yeah. I have like this massive mm-hmm. zit on my forehead. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, but how nice though, because hey, yeah. listen, I love it when someone's like, hey, I love yeah. what Absolutely. you do. Yeah. And thank you. And all. What pays the bills? Yeah, you know? and I'll I'll say that yeah. to someone who I see and who I'm a fan of. So yeah, it's nice. Well, Johnny Depp used to say that. He used to be like, "Well, the fans sign my checks," and yeah, he's they, absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They support, you know? and not even just you know reducing it to a check, but like yeah. they are who supports you. Like they're the reason that you have the platform. Yeah. So even though I might you know if it gets too much, I might feel a little annoyed at times. I'm like, let me enjoy this because it could be the other way around where they're like, "Look at that guy. I know him. I'm not going to go up to him because I hate him." <laughs> So, well, but also too, yeah. I feel like being an artist in the sense, like there's some creativities where like writing or mm-hmm. music or um, painting, things like that, you can do solo. Yeah. But if you're someone who's a performer mm-hmm. and an entertainer like actors are, you know, you need an audience. Yeah. And so it's like, it's it's one of those things where it's like, without them, that art doesn't have a sounding board yeah. or doesn't have someone to accept it and receive it. Yeah. Then you're just a crazy person mm-hmm. on the street yeah. corner. I just I just like that I have a little privacy. I do like it's, that for it's you. It's nice, especially. I do like that. <laughs> Thank you. No. When when I'm in, uh, uh, you know, I, I get recognized in a lot of different places. But when I'm in uh, uh, Germany with mm-hmm. Yulia, I don't get I don't get recognized as much. I mean, it happens every once in a mm-hmm. while, mm-hmm. but it feels yeah. so nice not to have. Is that who's that? Mm-hmm. Is that over there? Who is that over there? What's yeah. going on? You know, you're like. Say hello, yeah, and then yeah. we can take a picture. And we can move like, on. You look familiar. Yeah. Like, no, no but I always, I always love when they're like, "What are you in?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Don't make me list." I feel <laughs> yeah. so lame. And then, then you, I'm always afraid that you're gonna list everything, and they're gonna go, "No, I don't know." And, that's not yeah. it. and you're like, "Cool, I'll just." Okay. Or like, or like, <laughs> are you somebody? Up. Yeah. And I'm like, "We're all somebody." We like, all what do you? Are. You know what? How do you put that? You know? <laughs> I always get. We went to school together. Because oh. I guess I just have like a super yeah, like familiar yeah. face or mm-hmm. whatever. But I always get, we went to school together. And my response is always, I was homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Unless you were in my living room. I was on Third Rock from the Sun. and You were? Uh, stop it. And I played <laughs> I a college student, right? Uh-huh. And then I saw someone at the grocery store and I, and I was like, have I met you? Do I know you? And it was someone from the first um, MTV show where they all mm-hmm. lived together. Oh, Real World. Real oh, World. Yes. Uh-huh. He, he thought he went to college with me and I thought that I knew him. Oh. It was funny. We recognized each but other. But also That's social cool. media makes it really weird because mm-hmm. there's times where like a friend of a friend or something like that and it makes you feel like you're a part of that person's life. So yeah. I have it sometimes where I can't, I had this the other night where it was like a friend of a friend and I had seen her in 
my friend's post, yeah. like with her. Mm -hmm. And I was like, we've met. We For sure we've met. Yeah. She's like, no, we have no, not, no, you, you weirdo. Yeah. Um, yeah, do you ever have that where it's like All it kind time. of bridges that gap? Yeah, and that's why I'm sometimes, pa or I am patient with people because like they come up to me and they could be like, oh, I think I know who you are, but I don't ever say from TikTok. Cause right, because you don't want to be that right, asshole. Right, they could think I'm, Went to, I could have went to school with them like yeah. XYZ. So I've had the same thing where I'm like, I really think I know this person. And then it's just like an extension of who I've seen before yeah. on social media because it's just so accessible. I yeah. feel like it's like television, but even more. So like when TV mm -hmm. first came out, people felt more connected to the people on TV because they were in their, in their living, living rooms, rooms right? right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Versus on the big screen and uh, screen and not as like accessible. But I feel like social media takes that even like leaps and bounds forward yeah. where it's like, not only are you in my living room, mm -hmm. but you're also in my day-to-day -day life. You're Every in my moment. feed. You're yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's also just that, you know, if somebody's gawking or whatever, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I'm, I was on a date one time and I was like, you know, there was this kid looking at me and I was like, hold on one second. I, <laughs> and I was like, Hey, did, did, you know, does your uh, daughter want to take a picture with me? And she was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> and the kid didn't recognize me. Oh. Didn't know me. was just looking at yeah. me, you know? And I was like, oh, okay, I feel super oh, creepy now. Sorry. Yeah. That's why I never give it. Unless yeah. the other person says what they know me from, I yeah. won't say it. Yeah. You know what? Um, I don't remember his name, but JR from Dallas, from the mm -hmm. original yeah, Dallas. Yeah, who killed JR? Right. Yeah. Uh, um, I, we should Jack, know this. Jack Clubman? <laughs> I, I don't know, remember his name, but he, if you wanted an autograph from him or a mm -hmm. photo, mm -hmm. he would say, well, you have to give me something. Write me a poem or do something oh, for oh, me. Oh, I was about to And then like, he took, he took uh -oh. all the things that he got and then he made a book mm. and then he donated all the proceeds to charity. That's that nice. is, isn't that cool? Yeah. That's like a, that's a smart way to make it a- A positive thing. A po well, not yeah. only positive, but also just about human connection. Yeah. Which I feel like something like with social media is just, it's weird because it, it's it's there to make us more connected, but has yeah. made us even more insular. Right. Yeah, well, that's strange. what my dad has been telling me. Like when people come up to you, you can't be surprised because back then they would watch TV. Like yeah. we were just saying, yeah. now it's like, you are their TV. You are yeah. as big as the biggest celebrities we would think, you know, or Bigger. watch back then. Bigger. Yeah, so I mean, it's like. We, we got, I don't know, whatever, 12 million views on our movie, you know, mm. it was like, oh my God. But now hundreds of millions of people yeah. are yeah, watching this. Like, it's, yeah. I mean, if something goes viral and let's say it's, you know, uh, you know, five or six million mm -hmm. but how many times that's the view how many times has it been reposted right. and sent out yeah. i mean yeah. that that really it's so interesting it's another world i, I can't wait to see like i feel like 10 20 years from now where we have a little bit more data of I'll be just dead. like how no. it's <laughs> yeah, i'll do a it's seance fine. and tell you the result. okay good um no but it, if, if in 20 years you're gonna be dead what's happening i don't to know you? jen stone but i interrupted you i'm sorry no it's fine i interrupt you all the time that's how we, we how we <laughs> communicate but what were you saying in 20 no, years no but i'm from just now? saying i think it's gonna be interesting when we have more data of like how it affects like people it's, you know what i mean i'll tell and you like now how yeah. it's, it's fucked us up because wow. Social yeah. media makes us unsocial mm -hmm. because I don't need so to call weird. somebody and be like, yeah. hey, how are you? How are the kids? I see it and I, I know it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm you know? getting my fix from visiting with someone. Like I was saying, like mm -hmm. Ezra and Darren, who did the mm -hmm. warm up for Wizards, mm -hmm. we, we've visited with them recently and I haven't seen them forever. I know every single thing that's going on Absolutely. in their life yeah. because I'm following them, yeah. you know? Yeah. Which is Let's go back to writing letters and postcards. Let's do guys. that. Uh, the the carrier pigeon. You sound like the <laughs> oldest buddy dice. At least my, over here, you're. Well, here's buddy. here's old fuddy duddy. My mom, when when emails came out, mm -hmm. she knew they knew a lot of people, so they they would send out I don't know a thousand, two thousand mm -hmm. um, Christmas cards every year. My That's parents, nice. you know, yeah. popular. Mm -hmm. So people start sending her emails, <laughs> and she's like. She couldn't keep up. Yeah. So she sent an email. I, out I hate. I and hate she, it. I mean, we did have a secretary that helped my dad and mom mm -hmm. with stuff, but she sent an email out and she said, if you want to get in touch with me, you have to either call me mm -hmm. or write me a letter Good in the for mail. Her. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Well, you yeah. know, I love a postcard. Mm -hmm. I send you postcards. You send me a postcard. Oh. If you're ever somewhere, you mm -hmm. travel everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You send Jen a postcard. She loves it. I, I love that. I would do that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a little book I'll put it in. Awesome. Like, it's so, I'm such an old fart. Well, anyway, you know okay. Well, to wrap up the episode, so I usually like to ask, Mm -hmm. the magic of the episode, which is mm -hmm. obviously the smarty pants, give yeah. you infinite knowledge in anything, everything. Mm -hmm. What would you guys want to have infinite knowledge in? The stock market. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I I mean, well, uh, that's my answer. And I'll probably say, no, I should have let you answer first, sorry. But that's what I would put on my pants. 
Mm-hmm. And I would smarty pants and yeah. know exactly what's going to happen and make the money. And then. But would you be liable help. in court for wearing the smarty pants? That's what I want to know. Wait a minute. I didn't know there was a fucking test. That so if you, <laughs> well, if but you wear the pants. Where's the I hope I'm not any, liable. Any lawyer can argue any point. This is, what I would do. this is what I would do with the money. If I had the, the Amazon billions, yeah. I would help people and I would go mm. and I would make it, use that money, yeah. use one of your billions I mean, to like preach. help and do stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. The one why to two percent. Yeah. Right. Well, come on. The like, one or two. One or two. Percent. One or two. The one, one and a half five percent. percent. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me to lying because I'm uh, like, it's either one. No, but that's so Where but would you true. wear your pants? Uh, I, your I mean, pants. I think in that sense, like monetarily, I would probably do the same. Um, but I guess like in general, just have the knowledge of people, you know, yeah, like their true yeah. intent, you know, everything that mm. that would just allow me to go smoothly through life with no snakes in the grass yeah. and, you know, people trying to screw me over. Um, cause I, yeah, that's, that's kind of needed, I think, especially in this industry, oh, especially yeah. in yeah. this industry where everyone tells you what you want to hear, yes. but then really is like stab me stab. Yeah. Where are you back. wearing your smarty pants? And by the way, I, smarty pants is not a good thing when you say, Oh, smarty pants. You don't go oh, yeah. smarty Thank pants. You. you know, it's a negative, I don't think right? Anyone's saying smarty pants anymore, <laughs> anymore. but, but <laughs> and when they did, correct. Yeah. 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 So what would you, when would you wear your pants? I, well, hopefully every day. Um, sorry, you just teed me off with that one. Um, you know, I I love to have a good like trivia fact, as you can mm-hmm. tell by me always being like, so I saw this study. So when you're playing Trivia Pursuit? No, you wanna- no, 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 not for like trivia, but like I just would like to have infinite knowledge of different, like the exact data, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to studies or when it comes to people's names, like I love being the person who can say, oh yeah, this person from this movie and did this, mm-hmm. or like this study, this is the exact percentage. Like earlier I was talking about like, okay, this annual income, it's capped. At th- I want to have the exact details yeah. and information. Right. And human I'm, Google. Human Google. <laughs> yes. I would love to, like people with a photographic memory, I'm yeah. so jealous. Yeah. And I feel like it's one of those things where I'm always the person that's like, don't quote me on this. I'm not <laughs> sure I have this completely right. And then yeah. I kind of weirdly combine things. So if I could just get my facts straight, well, yeah. that's why I would like the smarty pants. I like it. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank this you. was so great. Fun to watch the episode. Fun yes. to visit with you. And congratulations on being the, one of the most popular people I know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I mean, likewise. And keep making us laugh and, and having fun because it's so fun to watch your your, your stuff. I have thank you. one you more question. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, skits, parodies. Parodies. Okay, Recreations. Good. What's yeah. the favorite one you've done? Yeah. Uh, fa- anything. Well, actually, I was going to say anything Disney, even though those are very fun to make um, and rewatch. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll rewatch anything Disney anytime. Um, but when I did Spider-Man, I was like in the full costume and like was running literally in the streets and yes. acting like Spider-Man. One of the first times I did something in yeah. public and that was pretty fun to make. People loved that one. And also Twilight is a favorite yeah. of mine and yeah. a fan favorite. So yeah, I love, those are like the big three. I Spider-Man, just Twilight. The Disney. one that you did on uh, just how ridiculous Jacob is. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I used <laughs> to, I don't know if his voice was changing or what was happening yeah. at the time, but I always, it was funny because you think of these like leading hot men as having this like deep, sexy voice. Yeah. And then he I talked and it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would talk and you were just like, what? <laughs> like it was, it was. A, Along I, with the, the script, yes. you know, that made, you know. And he was. Between the he writing was, and yeah. his, he was the whatever wolf. his voice was yeah. going through. Right, that was the he wolf. Was the yeah, he wolf. was the wolf. Yeah. So there's a, a little thing where he's dressed in blue. Mm-hmm. And and he's being oh, like, oh, oh, and, yeah. and, he's, yeah. and, and she's like petting his head. Yes, <laughs> it's so weird. It's ridic- in the morph suit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. it's so ridiculous. Yeah. movie making's weird. Yeah. Making parodies is weird. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have you yeah. here. Thank, Thank you, you for being so a much. part for of having me. Wizards yes. of Waverly Pod. It's yes. so no. Let him do it. Oh yeah, Ooh. you do Remember it. You used to do, do it. it. Yeah. Hold on, you're gonna make me free. It's something. Go do it. See you next time. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Are you doing the and making the ears? Up? Yeah. <laughs> but you can press the button. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You're watching Disney Channel. What a dream come true. <laughs>